Hello my dear scholars, my name is Shiva Pratap Singh. Today I'm here to continue my lecture series on building materials. Click on that button if you want to see previous videos of this lecture series. Uh, today I'm going to go through the study of soundness of cement. So it is very important to any cement that uh, it does not change, there is not change in volume after setting. But there are certain types of cement which, uh, which undergo a undergo a certain difference in expansion which affects the workability and durability of the cement okay this expansion is uh, is due to the presence of lime magnesia and silica in the cement okay and uh, we used to do the soundness test we used to check the change in volume in cement by using by using leach at layer apparatus and autoclave method Okay, we use uh, leach at layer apparatus for the lime test only, and uh, we use uh, autoclave method by for the magnesium and silica only. Okay, so today we discuss about something about the how we use how we test test soundness of cement soundness test on sim of cement in leach at layer apparatus. Okay, so first thing is leach at layer apparatus detects detects soundness due to lime only. Okay. Leach at layer, leach at layer apparatus detects unsound soundness due to lime only, and for magnesium and silica, for, uh, is we use autoclave method. Okay, so uh, leach at layer apparatus contain a mold a cylind small cylindrical type mold okay this is small cylindrical mold having 30 mm diameter okay and it contains two indicator okay it is about uh, 165 mm okay both and uh, this is about uh, cylindrical mount okay it is about uh, 5 mm and we have a uh, one uh, we have one a uh, glass plate in which we put this mold okay this glass plate have uh, 30 mm 30 mm this length this is 30 mm height and uh, this 30 mm its width okay this is our glass plate and this is a uh, this is mold and this is indicator so let me move on how we do the unsoundness test let me move on the procedure of unsoundness test ok so first we take a 100 gram cement sample so first uh, uh, we take a 100 gram cement sample and mix it with uh, 0.78 uh, 0.78 p uh, what is p? p is a water content of uh, water content of standard consistency uh, as we discussed in uh, uh, discuss in our previous video what is consistency of cement ok what consistency of water or anything ok so p is water content of its standard consistency so we take 100 gram of cement sample and mix it with 0.78 p and place it in leach at layer mold okay so what we what's our first what we do first take 100 gram cement and mix it with mix it with 0.78 p what is P is water content for and for water content of standard consistency. Okay, and place it in place it set in mold mold of leach at layer apparatus okay and uh, so as we discussed as we discussed the earlier leach at layer apparatus consists of a split cylinder having diameter 30 mm and height uh, 
and height about 30 mm with the two indicator arms of length 160 mm okay these indicator arms are provided of both sides okay as as we discuss in this diagram these indicator arms provided on both side uh, these indi why we uh, why we have these indicator these indicator detect the vo any volume change okay any volume change of cement so after placing uh, placing cement in this mold we used to we used to cover cover this mold by by using glass plate okay on both side we uh, put a glass plate on bottom and one glass plate on the above of this mold okay so this mold is kept on a glass plate and cover so what we do this mold kept on a glass plate plate and also covered by glass plate okay so by after doing this we used to put this whole assembly is kept in water and uh, for 24 hours at a room temperature about uh, 27 degrees celsius to 32 degrees celsius okay put uh, the whole assembly is kept in water for 24 hours for 24 hours at room temperature about 27 degrees celsius to 32 degrees celsius okay uh, after 24 hours the specimen is taken out from water okay volume changes is de uh, detected by indicator arms okay after 24 hours we take out this mold uh, this we take out this mold from water volume change is detected by this arm we measure the uh, the distance between this arm and take it as a okay so I write down this after 24 hours we take out this after 24 hours the specimen the specimen is taken out is taken out from water okay water and volume changes changes are measured and volume changes changes are detected by indicator detected by indicator arms and say it as a say okay again after after doing this process again we again we put this whole assembly in water and uh, heating is done such that boiling point reaches at 25 to 30 minutes and then boiling is continued for 3 4 hours okay after doing this we used to put this assembly we used to again put this as whole assembly put the whole assembly in water then water such so heating is done such that heating is done such that such that the boiling point reaches at 25 to f boiling point reaches at 25 to 30 minutes then boiling is continued for continue for three four hours okay after three four hours again take out uh, this mold from from the from the heated water and measure and again measure the distance between these two indicator and say it as b okay so any further volume changes may be required by these two indicator arms any volume changes 
be detected by indicator arms arms say it as b so by subtracting b to a we get our soundness soundness is b minus a okay remember this is only for due to lime only for magnesium and the silica we used to autoclave method and that autoclave method we used to discuss further in our further videos okay so basically what is b uh, this is uh, this is volume change is said volume change during boiling boiling water and this is volume change of cement during normal water okay and uh, for uh, for cement like opc and uh, OPC, RC, and uh, high aluminium, high aluminium cement. Uh, this uh, unsoundness is not more than this is not more than about 10 mm. Okay, for uh, cement like rapid hardening cement, high aluminium cement, uh, Portland cement, uh, this uh, unsoundness, ness is not more than. 10 mm okay for OPC RHC okay not more than 10 mm what is 10 mm the basically the difference between the volume during boiling uh, volume change during uh, boiling water and volume change during during uh, normal water is not more than 10 mm okay for uh, cement like OPC RHC HAL okay so watch this video once again for um, soundness test by using leach at layer apparatus due to lime only okay so go to the internet and watch this whole apparatus clearly okay and uh, do this practical after seeing after seeing the whole practical from in a in YouTube or anywhere you can easily f easily get that whole practical by doing the by doing that practical you you know more about the soundness test of cements okay so watch this video again till then take care good day thank you so much for watching this video